<laughs> Hi guys, it's summertime and you know what that means? It's time for a pool party. Welcome back to our pool party. We're on lesson three this week. Um, we're making a splash with Jesus and we're learning all about amazing things that Jesus has done for us. And as a matter of fact, today's main point is amazing things happen when we trust in Jesus. And we have a memory verse that we're going to be learning this whole series. And it's this, it says, so turn away from your sins, turn to God then your sins will be wiped away. The time will come when the Lord will make everything new. And that's Acts 3, 19. Now, one of the things that's really fun when you go to the pool is getting on the slide. Now, when my kids were younger, we had a membership to our community pool. And one year they redid the pool and remodeled the pool. And guess what they put in? Slides. These slides were so amazing, especially when you were little, because you were like, whoa, these were like the best. And we couldn't wait to get to the pool so that we could go on those slides. I think I might have a picture of the slides that we were excited about. Now, those slides are a little bit small compared to some bigger water slides that you might see at a theme park. I mean, we have gone to like Kalahari and um, Splash Lagoon and down at Disney's like, you know, Treasure Island thing. And um, also to Sandcastle down in Pittsburgh and they have some pretty big slides. Now those slides can be pretty awesome, but they can also be pretty scary. I looked on the internet and I tried to find some pictures of different types of slides that you might have seen. So let's take a look. Wow, look how many slides there are here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ones that you can race on. How cool is that? That would be so fun. Well, this one is cool. It's like kind of doing a half pipe when you're on a tube. Just kind of come off the top and just kind of swish back and forth until you get dumped into the pool. That looks awesome. I don't know about this one. This one is pretty tall, but I bet it could be pretty fun too. This one looks like another fun one. I would love to be on that water slide. Okay, not gonna lie. I don't think I will ever be on this type of water slide. That is way too tall and way too straight down for me. But for some of you daredevils out there, this might be just the slide for you. Now, that last slide was pretty scary. That is a slide that um, I will never be going on. You know what? And I might miss out on all the fun of that. I'm okay with that. But you know what? There's a lot of excitement that comes when you go out and you take a risk. But you know what? We can have excitement and adventure with Jesus and amazing things happen. And there's really no risk to it. Yeah, we might, um, you know, get made fun of at times or people might not like us for following Jesus. But you know what? The reward is so much more than just a temporary fun of being on a water slide. Right? And remember, amazing things happen when we trust in Jesus. All right, now we have a fun game today for our game for our boys versus girls. Cameron and Brandon are gonna to try to use a slide to slide their ping pong balls down into a container to see who can win the most. All right, so let's take a look at our game today. All right, welcome to our game today. Now today's game is we are going to have to send those ping pong balls sliding down the yardstick into the container. They're gonna have one minute or until they run out of ping pong balls to see who gets the most ping pong balls in. All right, are you guys ready over there? Yep. Yep. All right, so Cameron's ready, Brendan's ready. On your mark, get set and go. All right, they're going, they're bouncing around, don't lose them. You gotta go slower. Cams are bouncing out. All right, who are you guys cheering for? We're all tied up, girls versus boys. Are the boys gonna win today? Are the girls gonna win today? 
You guys got 25 seconds. All right. Are they going to get it? How are we doing? I don't want to know. It's looking pretty close there. Ready, Ted? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Okay, guys, let's see your containers. All right, who do you guys think won today? Do we have boys or girls? Okay, we're gonna let them count them up and then we will declare the winner. Okay, well, after counting them up, Brandon, how many did you have? 27. Cameron, how many did you have? 27. Oh my goodness, it is a tie. Oh, well, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we have a rematch or just have a tie today? I think we have a rematch. Oh, rematch or a tie. What do you guys think? Oh, I think all the kids at home are voting for rematch. So let's have a rematch. All right, guys, we'll get reset and we'll be right back with the rematch. Okay, we are back all set up for the rematch. So Cameron and Brandon, you guys ready? On your mark, get set and go. So we got our completed things and we're going to give them a count and we're going to see who won the rematch. All right, guys, we'll be right back with the final count. All right. So after counting our rematch, we have some totals here. All right, Cameron, how many did you have? 27. All right. And Brandon, how many did you have? 17. 17. But he is protesting for the boys because some bounced out of his causing him at to not have 10. as many. At least 10. <laughs> he thinks at least 10. But... That's how it happens. Ping pong balls bounce like that. So today's winner is the girls. All right, girls. So you're up two to one. Boys, I bet we'll have a comeback next week. All right. See ya. All right, you guys. Welcome back. We are going to be talking today in our Bible story um, about a pretty amazing miracle. Um, now, see the disciples, they had been with Jesus for a while now, and they had seen him do so many amazing things. I mean, they watched him turn the water into wine. They saw him healing the sick, and they saw him feeding 5,000 people with one little boy's lunch. But this time, one of Jesus' followers had the chance to do something amazing when Peter found the faith to step out of the boat and walk on water. Let's listen to what happened in our story. It was the evening of a busy day in which Jesus had taught over 5,000 people and miraculously fed them. Jesus told his disciples to get in a boat and row back to Capernaum. He would join them later. After dismissing the crowds, Jesus climbed up the side of a mountain to pray. As it got dark, Jesus could see the disciples had rowed out three to four miles. They were straining at the oars as the wind was against them and waves were buffeting the boat. Shortly before dawn, Jesus finished praying and started walking the quickest way back to Capernaum, across the sea. He was going to walk past the boat, but the disciples spotted him. It's a ghost, they cried out in terror. Be brave, shouted Jesus. Don't be scared, it's me. Lord, if it's you, Peter asked, tell me to walk on the water to you. Come on, Jesus answered. Peter got out of the boat and started to walk towards Jesus. But as he heard the sound of the wind and saw the waves, he started to doubt he could stay afloat. Immediately, he began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and caught Peter. You have so little faith, Jesus told him. Why did you doubt? And Jesus lifted Peter into the boat and climbed aboard to join the disciples. 
The disciples were utterly amazed and worshipped Jesus. You really are the Son of God, they exclaimed. Almost immediately, the boat reached the shore. As they got off the boat, people recognized Jesus and started bringing those who were sick to him. All those who touched the edge of his clothes were healed. Wow, wasn't that an amazing story? I mean, could you imagine walking on water? That would be so cool to do. And you know, that was just the beginning for Peter of the amazing life that God had planned for him. I mean, yes, Peter was often um, getting into trouble. He often made mistakes. Even when he was walking on water, he got um, focused on the waves and took his eyes off Jesus and started to sink. But Jesus, you know, helped him back up and put him back into the boat. You know, and again, over and over, Peter was always getting himself into trouble, but Jesus was always there, um, helping him through it, always forgiving him. He had great plans in store for Peter. Um, as a matter of fact, he used Peter to help build the church. After Jesus had died and rose again and then went to heaven, Peter was the one who went around and preached and led 3,000 people in one day to the Lord. That is so amazing. Peter was even able to do miracles himself. He lived his life in amazement and he um, trusted fully in Jesus. And that's the same for us. We can have an amazing time when we put our trust in Jesus. Now, we gotta be willing to kind of take a risk though, right? We gotta be willing to step out in that faith and have that trust. You know, I have a snorkel here and some goggles. Now you use these, like if you're gonna go out in the ocean. Now, if I was out in the ocean just swimming around, um, I'm not gonna really see too much. I wanna see the waves and I wanna see the water and probably see the beach and all of that. But I'm telling you, if you guys have never gone snorkeling before, it is amazing. There's a whole nother world underneath the surface of the ocean. And just these two little things right here, a snorkel that helps you breathe and these goggles to help you keep your eyes clear, can open up this amazing undersea world under there. Beautiful coral reefs, colorful fish. It is incredible, but you gotta be willing to put the snorkel on and the goggles on and take a look under there. You gotta take that step of faith and see what's out there. You know, when we focus our eyes on Jesus and we follow him every day, it can be like a roller coaster but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And when we trust in God, we can have an amazing life. You know, I've been um, saved for a long time, um, ever since I was a little girl. And um, this Christian life has had its ups and downs. It hasn't always been easy, but it has been an adventure. And it has um, been an amazing time with Jesus. I've been able to go all over the world to share Jesus with other people. You know what? And God has an adventure planned for you too. He has a plan for your life. And he wants you to put your trust fully in him. Now you may not go all over the world like I've been able to do, or even like Peter, he kind of stayed kind of just in his little part of the world there, but the impact he's had on the church is amazing. And so whether you get to ever go abroad or you just stay in your own community, sharing the adventure of trusting in Jesus is something that God wants us all to be a part of. All right, let's have, let's close our lesson with the word of prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for loving us and thank you um, that you have an amazing life planned for us. We just love you in Jesus name. Amen. All right, you guys, let's see what you remember from our story today with this week's review time. The disciples were in a boat in the middle of a calm lake on shore at noon in a storm at night. In a storm at night. In the midst of the storm, they saw Jesus walk on water, a rainbow, another ship. It's A, Jesus was walking on the water. Blank asked Jesus to let him walk on water too. Is it A, Peter, B, James, C, John? A, Peter. Peter began to sink when he stepped out of the boat, felt the wind in his face, or looked at the waves. That's right, when he looked at the waves, he took his eyes off Jesus. Blank can do amazing things when we place our trust in Jesus. Grown-ups, everyone, or kids? Everyone! 
Great job, you guys. All right, guys, I hope you did great on that review. Now make sure you go and tell someone the story you learned today. Remember, amazing things happen when we trust in Jesus. And I hope that you'll put your trust in Jesus today. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time at our pool party. Bye.